if you're thinking about buying a home in 2022, watch this video. We're going to talk about if that's a great idea or if you should just turn around and wait for the market to crash first. So let's get into it. Hey, again, my name is Justin Short. I am a realtor and team leader for the Short Real Estate team here in Murrieta, California. Um, wanted to make sure we're keeping these videos coming regularly for you. And today, wanted to talk to you about really a question I'm getting asked a ton right now. And that question is, you know, should we buy a home now? or should we sit on the sidelines and wait for the market to crash and buy that at a discount in the future, right? And, and that, that's really, it's a tough question. You know, I think that's really everyone's concern with how much pricing has gone up, especially the last couple of years since COVID really. Um, and really for a long time now, we've seen the, the market appreciations go up, 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 and up. And people get curious, you know, they get cautious. They wanna know, you know, is, is, are we at the top? Should we be stopping? Should we be pausing so we don't get in over our head? So um, we're gonna go over some different stats, give you my opinion, my perspective, and hopefully give you some different things to consider um, if you're thinking about if now is the right time to buy or if you should or if you should wait. So uh, first, before we get, get into all the info, uh, please go ahead and hit like, please go ahead and hit subscribe if you're liking the videos. Uh, we're trying to keep them come, come out constantly for you guys. Um, it helps me, it helps the channel. We're trying to continue for that to grow. And of course, if there's anything myself or my team can do to help you out with the real estate side of things. Would love to chat, love to help you. Uh, we've had a lot of people reaching out, you know, text, uh, call, or email to us lately, and would love to hear from you. So uh, please don't hesitate, and would love to at least be a resource for you or answer any questions that you may have, especially if you're thinking of moving to the area or moving out of the area. So um, we're going to talk a little bit, uh, we'll go over some stats, and first, I guess, kind of a, a disclaimer up front. I'm going to talk to you a lot about my opinions, right? I'm going to talk to you about some facts, yes, on some trends and some real data that's out there. But I'm going to tell you really a lot of conjecture on what I think is going to happen in the future. And really the disclaimer is no one knows for sure, right? I am not a fortune teller. I do not have a crystal ball. I do not know without a shadow of a doubt what exactly is going to happen in the real estate market in the future. Nobody does, and if they did, you know, they would be they would be filthy rich. We would predict through the crash, you know, back when that happened, and rode the wave all the way up. So no one knows for sure, but I can definitely give you my opinion. All right, so we're going to talk about the reasons why I think it is a good idea to, to buy a home. So number one is the interest rates. So right now the interest rate is historically low. Um, they are starting to trend up, yes, but when we have low affordable rates, that affects what your actually your mortgage payment is going to be, right? So so as rates are so low, I think it's a great time to lock into a low interest rate because I think over time, if you're not going to be able to do that in the future. Um, that's really what we're expecting. Um, the Fed has really announced that they're going to be raising interest rates. They've really already started that process. So right now it's February 2022. They've already started raising the rates, which is affecting the interest rates on mortgages, and that's going to continue. So uh, we're going to we expect to see the rates trend up closer to the four percent range, and at some point they're maybe even a little bit higher but we're going to continue to start to see rates climb and so I think it's a good idea to lock into a lower rate now than a rate you're going to be able to get into the into the future so and we know that, that it's going to go up because that's what that's what they're telling us so um, number two reason that I think it's a good idea to buy a home right now is that we are going to see so much inflation over the next probably year to two years so if for those of you that, that don't know you know, as we're going through the COVID and all this different stimulus money that's being that, that was generated by by the government, the government printed a lot of money. They gave money to most U.S. citizens, right? We got everyone got those deposited, you know, those deposits right into their bank account. Well, that's a lot of money that was print that was printed, and so the, the stats are. Out of all the dollars that are in existence right now, actually 40% of the dollars were printed within the last 24 months. So what that means, 40% of the money that's out there is brand new money over the last two years. And so what that means is that people have 40% extra dollars, like literally they're just extra dollars that are out there. So that means they have more money to be able to afford things. That means we're, that, that is why we're seeing these, this inflation, right? People have this extra, these extra funds and they are, they're spending it. And so when you see the money 
that, that the government has printed and produced out there, that's why your gallon of milk is costing so much more. That's why your gas is costing so much more. That's why rent is going up so much more. That's why your that's why cost of houses are going up, right? There's just overall inflation in the economy. Uh, the stats that just came out right now is it's actually there's a seven percent inflation over the last 12 months, and that's per the, the CPI. So be, because of that, I mean those are not stats that we're expecting to change at any time soon. You're going to continue to see that inflation, and that, that's, that's a lot of inflation. You know, your your dollar's worth seven cents less than it was a year ago, and that's going to continue to trend that way. So why I think the why why that matters to real estate is when prices go up, you want to have your money into an asset. Real estate, a house, is an asset. So as those prices have gone up. When you're invested in a house, that means that value of that house has gone up. So you've kind of rode the wave with the inflation rather than just having your dollar sitting there, which is actually losing money. So that that's one of the reasons I think it's a great idea to be able to buy a home now while all this inflation is going to be happening. Um, the other thing that's out there is there's just not enough inventory. So because of the available homes for sale, there's a lot of demand right now because interest rates are very low. People have a good chunk of cash to be able to put down and be able to qualify for these homes, right? And so they want to buy, they want to buy a home, they want to move. Um, obviously, there's a lot of migration as you know, everything was going on with COVID and people were you know, setting up the roots in different places. But when as they have this ability and there's just not a, any there's not enough available inventory there's not enough available homes to choose from that's a supply and demand there's a lot of demand there's not much supply and that's causing pricing to go up right and that's going to continue you know we're really don't have a true path to more inventory we, right now that is not something that people are, are foreseeing uh, there's not a chunk of homes that are getting ready to come up on the market so while the demand's going to stay high the inventory and the supply is going to remain low and that's that's a really good trigger and a really good predictor that market that home values are going to stay up and probably continue to trend up. Um, so hopefully that's, that gives you some perspective for me at least. Um, now the, the other side of that is a lot of people are really really worried that hey pricing has gone up so high so high what you know what goes up must come down eventually the market is going to crash and there's some truth to that but it's a matter of when and when and how that's going to happen so right now just the overall fear for people is it's been so long right it's been 12 years of up 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 and up right and especially over the last 24 months since covid happened but here's really the truth is i deal with these home buyers and home sellers every day, right? We get a chance to look at the structure, that they're, how they're purchasing, how much money they're putting down, and what how things actually look. And right now, the market is a lot more stable than it was back in 2005, 2006, where that was just a, a, a lot looser real estate market, you know? Um, right now, people are putting a lot more money down. So most of the people that we're seeing are anywhere from 10 to 20, 25, percent down, uh, sometimes more, 50 percent are all cash purchases. So there's not a lot of people that are getting in with low down payments. And so people have big chunks of equity that they're putting into the house. So which means that that's causing them to have a lower payment, even a higher price, actually a little bit lower payment there, right? And we don't have a lot of these loose lending practices that were in place 15 years ago, 16 years ago, where, you know, I think everyone knows the joke, right? If you could fog a mirror that you can get a loan, right? Or a lot of these seated income loans or just kind of BS loans and loose lending practices, those just aren't out there anymore. So the lending practices are a lot more stringent and a lot more tighter. And people, they have to be well qualified. You know, they have they have to be in the right debt to income ratio. And the, the lending practices are so much tighter where people have to be able to afford them, afford the mortgage. So, and that's a good thing. You know, that really protects everyone. And that's one of the things that's helping keeping keeping the housing market afloat is it's not, we don't have all these these bad loans that are out there. They're actually, they're good loans, they're well-qualified people that are putting a good chunk of money down and that lends to a more stable market. So uh, the next thing we wanna point out is that there was not a lot of that no money down, not a lot of the, the stated income loans, we kinda of hit on that. And the next thing is there's just the total amount of home buyers that are out there. So we've talked how there's there's just a lot of demand, right? So there's a lot of people that want to buy homes right now. And that's because of one, they've had some stimulus money coming in, they've been able to save up some cash. Maybe they've sold another house, so they have some equity that's built a lot of equity over the last few years. Um, but another big thing is there's just so many home buyers, and the reason the reason for that is it's the whole millennial generation, right? So my generation. So I'm 33. I was born in 1988, and 
you, my whole generation now is kind of going through the same phase of life that I am. So they have young kids, they're looking to set up roots, right? And when you do that, they want to nest, they want to have a solid place to, to be able to stay and raise their family. And when, as they're going through that process, they want to buy a home. Right. Well, that millennial generation, it's actually the biggest generation ever. So it's as millions more people and millions more potential home buyers than what the, the previous generation, which is Generation X. Right. So because of that, there's just so many home buyers coming down the path that are now able to get qualified. They have good paying jobs they are working remotely. Right. And they are now able and willing to buy. So you have that's more demand. Right. Because just a bigger amount of people, more people that want to want to move and want to be to buy a home last point there is there's just there's still so much demand right so because of the amount of people that are coming in and really just the that amount of people that want to live in this area specifically where you can live in a relatively affordable part of Southern California right if you want to live in Southern California and live in a nice community there's not really a lot of options under a million dollars if you're gonna live in San Diego County uh, for probably a, a pretty decent area it's gonna be over a million dollars you can live in Orange County and decent area is gonna be over a million dollars and if you're gonna live in LA County a decent area is gonna be well over a million dollars right so to live here in South Riverside County to live here in the Temecula Marietta Menifee Valley um, for basically almost all the homes out here are under a million dollars. The average price point in Temecula is you know, under 800000 Average price point in Marietta is under 700000 And the average price point in Menifee is under 600000 It's so affordable out here compared to the, some of the surrounding areas. I think that's really going to continue to make this area desirable. And, and that's why another you know, reason you're seeing just so much demand. You know, it's been years now of just so super super strong buyer demand and that's continuing continuing to push the market so um, you know I, I know I, I give you definitely some opinions from me there um, I hope that hopefully there's some good stats and good information in there and I although it is my opinion yes I do think there's uh, I, I think it's a well-founded opinion right I think I have pretty good perspective on what's going on I think we're you know in the market every day we can see what's happening we can see the the buyers that are coming in you can see how well they're qualified uh, we can see the trends and that's why I really think it's a it's a the market's going to continue to appreciate the market's going to continue to go up for the foreseeable future is it going to happen forever no of course there's going to be a correction there's going to be a, your kind of your normal cycle your your up and down right um, but right now i can tell you personally i just bought a house over the last few months we moved from Marietta to temecula moved like a mile down the street but uh, we wanted a little bit bigger yard so we just bought a home so and we are actively looking to buy another property as a rental property so um, for myself that is, those are my beliefs and I, where I think the market's headed and I think so I think it's a good idea that's what I am actively doing myself and hopefully just give you give you my perspective there so um, hopefully you're liking the videos if so please go ahead and hit like please go ahead and hit subscribe um, if you have any questions for me you can definitely reach out to me call text email uh, myself and my team would love to help you answer any questions you may have and hopefully you guys are liking the content and uh, let me know in, in the comments what your, what your thoughts are. So have a good one, thanks.